Today we're going to look at the largest oil field on the planet, which of course is Gawa in Saudi Arabia. Here's a map showing the extent and size of Gawa, and we'll come back to its dimensions in a minute. You can see by far and away the largest oil field in Saudi Arabia. Here are the dimensions and the structure of the field. It is a huge regional high and it is subdivided into uh, six operational areas. Now the entire structure is about 150 miles long by about 25 miles wide and it's um, reservoired at a depth of around about 7,000 feet. So you can see there is a huge relief. The uh, contours here are 250 foot intervals. So it is a massive structure. We're going to look at uh, these two areas in particular, highlighted on the uh, production profile in just a minute. But this is the uh, area where most of the production to date has, has come from. Now, it's not quite clear why so little contribution is made from Uthmanaya South, from Hawaii and from Harad. But uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. And for a size comparison, here's the North Sea. You can see the Clarefield west of Shetland, Johan Sverdrup over in uh, the Norwegian sector, uh, the Forties Field and the Le Mans gas field down in the southern gas basin. Um, this is what, what Garwa would look like. It's a huge field. So here's uh, a couple of regional west-east cross-sections. Uh, the one on the left here is showing the complexity of the Zagros Mountains, the, uh, the thrust zone, and then the, uh, the, the platform area here over to the west from Iran through Qatar and into Saudi Arabia. You can see that the rocks uh, shown here uh, are just um, are folded, but um, not to the extent that we see within the thrust zone. This is the location of Gawa, and it's within the Upper Jurassic Arab D carbonates that most of the production has come from. Here's uh, really a simplified cross-section showing that um, it's really been set up by this basement horse, the, the Gawa feature set up by this basement horse, and uh, you have subsequently a folding or a draping over this feature here. Now, looking at the production, We've highlighted the two areas. This is Uthmanaya North, which is this purple area here, and the Aindar and Shedgum areas, which are this area within the blue. And uh, you can see that between these two zones, they account for most of the production across the area. Now, if we actually show the scale on here, this is uh, from zero to five million barrels. And you can see that production ramped up from the early 50s through the oil crisis 1973, peaking and plateauing at around about five million barrels. I think there was uh, some sort of OPEC uh, restrictions in this period of time. Then uh, what we see is it kind of gets back onto plateau. And this field has been uh, achieving five million barrels of oil a day for decades. So what we can see also on this slide is that the other regions here really make very little contribution to the early parts of the production history. You can see the production history is only running up to around about 2003. And that's because reserves and production data for individual fields became somewhat of a state secret around about that time. And it's very difficult to find publicly available information on these fields. But if anybody knows of a source, please let us know. One of the reasons why there hasn't been the, the same contribution from the areas to the south is shown in this graph here, where we can see that by region, the porosity in the north is 19%, uh, is declining to 14% to in the south, permeability drops, productivity index drops, and the net thickness uh, reduces by about one third. And uh, the reason for this is actually to do with probably the, with the fasces. So you can see in the northern part of Gawar, it's the uh, the grain shoal fasces, uh, whereas to the south here we're getting the uh, the deeper basins. So so these are perhaps finer grain micritic sediments. 
Taking a quick look at the decline curve analysis, you can see two areas that have been looked at, and we'll give the uh, the references in the notes below. Um, this is Uthmanaya North, and you can see that a projection here, looking to to be an ultimate recoverable in around uh, the 35 to 45, and for this region, the Eindar and Shedgum, it's 32 to 47. So together. Um, assuming that there's there's no interference and these are truly independent, uh, we're looking at uh, somewhere in the region of 67 to 92 billion barrels. Now, to give that some context, if you put the entirety of all the fields in the uh, UKCS, uh, United Kingdom uh, continental shelf, they've only produced some 26 billion barrels of oil to date. There are a number of uh, estimates that we carry in our Trove database, so we have details on all these ultimate reserve recoverable, ultimate recoverable reserves even, um, estimates that have been published over the years. Uh, you can see that uh, they sort of fall in line with this decline curve analysis range pretty much. And some of them it's not always clear whether it's talking to ultimate recoverable or remaining reserves. So um, this may be uh, an anomalously low. So uh, in addition to the oil, some 85 to 162 trillion cubic feet of gas reserves are estimated. Now we've got a lot of information on Gawa and uh, indeed the largest offshore oil field, which of course is uh, Safanaya, which is um, also in Saudi Arabia. And not only do we have these two fields, but we have some 427 fields and 220 discoveries, which basically go um, right throughout Saudi Arabia, Oman, Syria, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates and Qatar. So an amazing source of information. So to have a look at other videos in the mini-series, we're going to have a look at the Saudi Arabia sell-off. Uh, there's a rumour that there may be another tranche of the company being put to the market. And uh, we're going to take a look at the Saudi Arabia reserve history, which is uh, an interesting lesson in geopolitics. Thanks ever so much for listening, and please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring the bell, and if you want to get in touch, there's our details. Thank you very much.